everyone and welcome to my channel this is my savannah monitor his name is buddy he's currently sleeping right now um savannah monitors are from africa or south of the sahara desert um savannah monitors love to climb so if you're planning on getting one you need to put some logs in their enclosure so that they can climb up on them um, the logs also help them feel more secure and it also keeps their nails nice and trim. Um, that way they don't get too long and painful. No bubba. Um, they can live up to at least 20 years. Um, the one, I, I looked online, did a little research and hey, supposedly the only one <laughs> yeah, but the only one in captivity has lived up to 17 years. I know, it's cool, ain't it? Sorry for all the noise. My dogs are fighting in the background, and Brantley just really thinks Buddy's cool. Um, they grow up to their full size in three to four years. So if you're planning on getting one, you need to make sure that you can get a big enclosure for them in three to four years. Um, they can get up to three and a half to five feet long, and they can weigh anywhere from 11 to 13 pounds. They eat raw meat like chicken, fish, shrimp, um, gut-loaded insects, uh, scrambled eggs without any seasoning or anything in it. Um, with the shell included. They really like that. He, he really likes that. Um, they also need vitamin D3 powder on their food. It helps um, it helps them absorb like the different calcium amounts that they need in their body to survive in captivity. Um, Buddy here, I wanted to talk about his personality and everything. Whenever I first got Buddy, he didn't like to be held. He wanted to bite. Um, he didn't really like anybody coming around him. He was kind of scared of hands. He's starting to wake up now. Um, he was scared of hands and being held. Um, but I've been holding him every day now, and he seems to love it. Um, he still has his days where he doesn't like to be held, and he just wants left alone. So I just leave him alone on those days. Um, his favorite food is raw chicken and the scrambled eggs. Um, he enjoys, out of everything I've done with his enclosure, the one thing he really enjoys doing in there is burrowing under his cork log. Um, he loves to burrow in the soil and make different paths and stuff in his soil. Um, that way he'd go and hide. Um, he likes to be handled now. He didn't at first, like I said, he was biting and everything. But as you can see, he's fine with it. He's sleeping, but waking up slowly right now. Um, right now I have him in a 55 gallon long enclosure. Um, it's long enough for him to run around, wide enough for him to move around, and, you know, get his exercise and everything. But eventually, once he starts getting bigger, because he's not too big yet, once he starts getting bigger to where I can't fit him in just one hand, I obviously need to upgrade his enclosure. Um, if you are planning on getting a Savannah monitor, 
the things you'll need in their cage are the Eco Earth Cocoa Fiber Substrate. Um, it helps them to where they can go underneath the soil and burrow down to hide away from anybody if they don't want to be seen that day. Um, you need different hides and stuff. Like I have the cork log. It's just like a, a piece of log that's in a circle um, for them to climb through or make a tunnel underneath it. Um, they need rocks, like big rocks, not small enough for them to put in their mouth because that can kill them. Um, they need big rocks for them to climb up on to bask in their in their lights. They need different plants. Um, he has some fake grass that I put in his tank and he really loves it. He likes to hide in it all the time. Um, I also have some tall plants around like his step ladder that I have in there for him. Um, it's just pieces of wood that are um, like a, they go on little steps for him to climb up on to bask in his lighting. Yeah, I'm talking about Buddy. Um, they also need a food and water dish, of course. Um, a swimming area because they love to swim. I actually just woke him up from him falling asleep in his water dish. They need a UVA, UVB light. That's really important because they need both of those type of lights. And they need the vitamin D3 powder. You can get the calcium powder at any pet store that you go to. It's not very expensive at all. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. This is my dog, Rari. Hi, Rari. Okay, no, no, no. Nope. Can't have the Savannah monitor. Go lay down. So I thought I would take some time today, even though it's Halloween and it's supposedly snowing outside, to show you guys my Savannah monitor. Rari, go lay down. My dog's being ornery. He's never really seen the Savannah monitor up close, so he's kind of curious. But this is Buddy. I'm my daddy. I'm trying to get him to wake up. I am Buddy. Say hi, Buddy. Hi, they got really long tongues. Um, I forgot to talk about that. They have really long tongues. Um, this is my son Brentley. Um, their long tongues kind of look like snake tongues. Um, they smell with their tongue. There's his eyes. Hi, Buddy. Yeah. Say hi to him. Mama's gonna try to get him to move. Yeah, he's like, whoa. I just woke up, dude. He's not wanting to let me go. You also want to support their whole weight and everything. He's not very happy about me holding him when he's waking up. Um. You want to support their weight and everything with your hands when you're holding them to where they don't feel uncomfortable being held. But that is Buddy, my Savannah monitor. He's not very happy, as you could tell. But. Okay, honey. But there is Buddy. Let's see if I get my camera to focus. He's pretty cool. I love him. He has some days where he's really, really cranky, doesn't want to be held, will puff himself up and try to like run away from me so that I don't hold him. But I try to, I try to get him to let me hold him without stressing him out um, too much. But. Something else that I've noticed while having him is when I first got him, this is the first thing that I noticed. His tail is crooked. Like, he's curling it that way, of course, but like right here, how it does that little zigzag. I don't know if that's something he was born with or what, but I had to help him out because he had a lot of stuck shed on his tail whenever I first got him. Say hi to YouTube, buddy. <laughs> he keeps smelling around. He smells the dogs. So 
so you're getting a little scared. But that is my Savannah monitor. If you guys would like to know anything else about Savannah monitors, just um, comment down below and let me know what your questions are. And in another video, I can answer those questions. Say hi, buddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>